Today we're visiting Polston Lacey. I've just signed up to the National Trust membership and Polston Lacey is a place I've been wanting to visit for quite some time. It's a beautiful Edwardian house and estate and we're going to explore it together today. Polston Lacey is an Edwardian house and estate located on the North Downs at Great Bookham near Dorking, Surrey in England. It is owned and run by the National Trust since 1947 and is one of the Trust's most popular properties. The 1,400 acre estate includes a walled rose garden, lawns, ancient woodland and landscape walks. The Polson Lacey estate was purchased in 1902 by Sir Clinton Edward Dawkins, a civil servant who worked in the colonial office. He commissioned the architect Ambrose Pointer to significantly extend the property. Sir Clinton however died in 1905, shortly after its completion. In 1906, the estate was bought by William McEwen for his daughter Margaret Greville and her husband Ronald. Margaret Greville was a well-known Edwardian society hostess. Architects Charles Mews and Arthur Davis, who were responsible for the Ritz Hotel in London, remodelled the house for the Grevels. The couple filled the house with their collection of fine paintings, furniture, porcelain and silver, which is displayed in the reception rooms and galleries, as it would have been in the time of her celebrated house parties. Ronald Greville sadly died in 1908, only two years after they moved to Polson Lacey. Margaret continued to entertain lavishly at the house. She also owned a home in London in which she held exclusive and expensive parties. Over the next 30 years, her reputation as an Edwardian Society hostess became established. So much so that the future George VI and Queen Elizabeth spent part of their honeymoon at Polston Lacey in 1923.
Polson Lacey was left to the National Trust by Mrs. Greville in 1942 in memory of her father, the brewer William McEwen. She was his illegitimate daughter and sole heir. The bequest included approximately 1,000 acres of land, along with paintings and items of furniture which she hoped would form the basis of a future art gallery. Her jewellery collection was bequeathed to Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Colston Lacey received over 287,000 visitors in 2020 and 2021, placing it in the Trust's top 10 most visited properties. There are a number of walks around Polston Lacey Estate, especially in the valley, the main house overlooks. Polston Lacey received over 287,000 visitors in 2020 and 2021, placing it in the Trust's top 10 most visited properties. There are a number of walks around Polston Lacey Estate, especially in the valley, the main house overlooks.